In this video, we'll graph the linear equation y equals 8. And we're going to use a table of values to do this, and then we'll talk briefly about slope-intercept form. So it's helpful to think about this as y equals, and we don't have an x, so let's call this 0x plus 8. So that'll help us think about this a little bit. What we can do, we'll put values in for x and find y. So we'll just make values up. Let's just start with 0. 0 times 0, that's 0. So y equals 8. We put 3 in. 0 times 3 is 0. So again, y equals 8. And in fact, any value we put in for x is going to be multiplied by 0. So we'll get y as 8. So let's just say negative 5. We have 0 times negative 5. That's 0. So y is 8. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 8. So we start out with x is 0 and y is 8 right there. We have x is 3 and y is 8. Okay. x is negative 5 over here and y is 8. So they're all in this horizontal line here. Let's put a line through that. And then we can put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. And that's the graph for y equals 8. Any value for x will result in a value of 8 for y. So let's look at this with slope-intercept form. We have y equals mx plus b. So b, that's the y-intercept right here. That's the 8, where we cross the y-axis. And then for the slope, m, we have 0. So that means that it doesn't rise or run. It just stays right on this horizontal line here. So that's it. That's the graph for y equals 8. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.